I'm Doug DeVries and this is the new Altamira 7 string guitar, the model Sechikodas. Um, that's a little samba pattern I played for you. So when you take your guitar out of the case, your new 7 string guitar, like I've just done, uh, you can get used to your new 7th string on tune to a low C. Here we are, low C. We have regular 6 string guitar and a low C added. I use this as the traditional tuning um, because I, I, I prefer the traditional tuning uh, as used by Brazilian guitarists uh, throughout the last 100 years of its history. And so uh, I find that the C uh, is a, an excellent note to have in your arsenal as an open string. It's just like a six string guitar, really. And we're just using a few extra notes at the bottom just to expand the guitar's reach. Uh, so, um, you know, it's a regular six string guitar. Here's our six string. E flat, D, D flat or C sharp, and C. C major 7, here we're going to have an E flat major 7. That's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. E flat to E flat, a D flat major 7. All sorts of chords now have extra richness. And they don't require a, a great amount of, uh, you know, adjustment. So really just approach your 7 string guitar like a 6 string guitar and enjoy the extra possibility of the seventh string. Your right hand will get used to it very quickly, particularly if you practice the samba pattern and uh, little scales. Just so you're oriented with that seventh string. So here's this uh, samba pattern once again. could be more exciting than having new chord shapes to learn. So we have a C major 7 with an added 6th. Quite a full sound in the register, it's very pianistic in its uh, spread. And now we have a D minor 7 and a G9. All very easy to play, you know. Okay, so there's two things going on here. We have the bass line, or the bass drum imitation. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Notice that the sh first beat is shorter than the second beat. It's like the imitating the closed bass drum sound, the muted sound and then the open bass drum sound. Then we put the, the chavi on the top, or the clave as we know it more commonly. Now together, practice and you're there and that's that's a samba self-contained on the seven string guitar most important thing in samba is the feeling of two we don't really if even if you write the music in four uh, it's best to think of it in two so one two So notice, sway from side to side, the feeling of two. Rather than, if you feel
feel mm. it in four like this, if you start beating in four, it's too rock and roll. It's not samba. Okay, so we take the rock and roll out and we get samba. There's a couple of other things that we do with the seven string guitar that are very typical in the Brazilian repertoire in particular, where we have the improvised bass lines or fills and runs. Uh, sometimes, I did one at the start of... Uh, like an arpeggio figure on the G7. To arrive at the C chord. Uh, we can also do a scale and who doesn't like scale practice? So I'll fit that into the context here. Another tuning that is common is the low B tuning. I have uh, used this tuning on a previous video where we do the Villa Lobos classic Shore number one. Uh, I put an accompaniment part to it, as would be typical in an Ashore ensemble. And low B, uh, because the key of the Shore is in E minor, so I will on occasion use this tuning for certain keys. So here an E minor. B7. Let's play a samba in E minor. There you have it. It's the seven string guitar, uh, the Secha Cordes model from Altamira. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. More power to you. Seven strings. <laughs>